ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response and refers to a tingling sensation that often starts in the scalp and travels down the spine and is usually triggered by acoustic and visual stimuli. Stimuli that tend to trigger this ASMR response tend to be things like whispering voices, repetitive noises and quiet noises associated with a visual stimuli as well. There seems to be limited knowledge about the neurological causes of the sensations associated with ASMR but there are several theories. Some theories compare ASMR with a condition called synesthesia, where there's a coupling of the senses, where one sense sets off another. So someone with synesthesia may hear a musical note and see a colour associated with that particular note. In terms of ASMR, it may be the case that watching tactile stimuli may trigger the sensation of being touched. Another theory behind ASMR compares it to a similar experience a sensation called musical frisson. This is that tingling, goosebumpy sensation you get during the good bit of a song. During musical frisson, the brain chemical dopamine is released, and it's released in two stages. As you're anticipating that part of the music coming up, the chordate nucleus releases dopamine, and at the peak of the emotional response, the nucleus accumbens releases dopamine. This causes that intense feeling of pleasure. And although there are similarities in the sensations experienced during ASMR and musical frisson, they seem to be caused by very different things, with musical frisson being caused by an emotional response, whereas ASMR being triggered by intense sensations of relaxation. Musical chills are associated with increased heart rate and goosebumps, and these are a sign of arousal, whereas ASMR seems to be triggered by complete calmness. So although there isn't a lot of research around ASMR, there are several theories linking it to other sensory related experiences. So that's it for this episode of Grey Matter. Subscribe and stay tuned for next time.